Oh, there's a very slight icing on the leading edge. Oh yeah, you can, because I've just actually peeled the ice off, if you can see that. Is that a bit of ice? This is what you've got to be careful of, flying in freezing conditions. There's a bit more on the edge. Here, can you see that ice? Hey, Robin here, welcome to the channel. Uh, it's December the 2nd, it's freezing cold, it's what, zero degrees? So we're going to test the drone battery really in this video to see how long we get flying at zero degrees. So we're all ready, we just need to turn the drone on. So let's get flying, I will get set up and let's get going. Turn the drone on. I'm going to put the strobe on so we can see. Uh, I think I have it flashing on red today. Home point updated. And we are ready to take off, so let's go ahead and take off. Take off. Uh, take off. And I'll start recording. We've got camera for it. Yeah, as you can see, this pond over here is frozen, so I think, to be honest, we'll fly that way to start with. So, yeah, let's go ahead and fly the drone. Right, we're recording already. Let's lower that gimbal down. Let's go over the tree line. Yeah, you can see how cold it is. It's been cold like this for a while. It'll be interesting to see how long we get flying at zero degrees. I'm already down at 94% battery, but it's saying we've got 24 minutes remaining, so, so let's go. I'm going to go out towards these fields. Also, we might have to worry about ice on the props, but let's cross that bridge if we Get to it. You can see how misty it is. So let's go ahead and fly this way. And right, we're flying in cine mode. Yeah, you can see how truly misty it is. It's actually pretty easy to see the drone in this mist, actually. Being as it's grey, we're only 100 metres out. So let's go past these two trees. So it's saying we've got 24 minutes remaining. As you can see on the top of them trees, there's a bit of frost on them. Yeah, it's actually very misty. We can't see a lot, can we? So let's come ahead. So let's come on and turn back round. Well, according to this, we're going to get some quite good battery life. I mean, the props have to work harder because the air is thinner, but the battery's not going to get as warm. So that may pay into it. Play into it. Coming up to the tennis courts over there. There's obviously no one playing because it's too cold. Currently flying at six meters a second, so we're not being slowed down due to icing or nothing yet. There's another little pond down here which is frozen. As you can see, there I am there. Yeah, it's getting well misty. I'm expecting the drone to be pretty wet when I get it back, which is unfortunate, but it should be all right to dry it on a, well, not on top of a radiator, but somewhere close to the radiator. Let's admire the top of these trees. Now I'm just going to bring the drone back to it because it sounds a bit off. I'm just going to 
make sure I'm not over this water in case we suddenly drop out the sky, I don't know. It could have some ice on it already. So I'm thinking we should bring the drone down and see what the props look like. So I'm going to go ahead with a manual landing. Move that gimbal down. Manually bring it to us. And that's about it, let's come on down. See if we can get a perfect landing. Right, let's take a look at the drone, see if we're iced up or not. Oh, there's a very slight icing on the leading edge. Oh yeah, you can, because I've just actually peeled the ice off, if you can see that. Is that a bit of ice? This is what you've got to be careful of, flying in freezing conditions. There's a bit more on the edge. Yeah, can you see that ice? So I thought I recognised the drone sounded a little bit off. But we're going to carry on flying. Because it's not too much ice, I might just take the time to wipe the ice off. Oh, look at that big long strand of ice. You can see that. Let's put it back. Oh, it's fallen off. Right, so. And my strobes turn off. There we go. Ah, oh, strobe must have run out of battery. Right, so let's go ahead and take off again. And yeah, I recommend if you're flying in these freezing conditions to stay close because the drone could suddenly fall out the sky, possibly, if it gets too much ice on it. So let's go ahead and take off. Take off. Spin her around so you can see her. Right, and let's just fly across this field. In fact, let me so this is the normal sound of the drone. And what I'll do, when I bring the drone back down, I'll see if you can tell the difference as it's iced up. So again. Right, so let's go. Just sounded a bit more raspy when it was icy, it seemed to. Right. So let's fly for, let's go for 20 meters high. As for the flying performance in the ice, there's not really much difference. Right, let's fly backwards. We're still getting our six meters a second. What's that? That's five meters a second. 5.6, six meters a second. All right, let's go into them fields again and then come on back. I must admit, it's a bit disorientating when you fly forwards, because it looks like you're going lower, but you're not. Now, I'm well clear of these trees, but just to show you, it looks pretty close. So we've been flying for nine minutes, still 17 minutes remaining. Yeah, because of the ice, I'm just a bit nervous about, about flying too far. Now DJI specs are the temperature should be 0 to 40 on the drone degrees centigrade and on the RCM1 it's actually minus 10 to 40. So you can see why it's rated at 0 degrees because ice on the props and I definitely don't want to be flying over this water just in case <laughs> although it's quite shallow. Um, I think I'm going to hover over me and just go up see how high we can go. And what's the visibility like up there? So let's get roughly over the top of me. 
That will do and go up. And let's do a little spin as well. As we go up. Currently 44 meters high. And you've got to expect it to be even colder up there. As you can see, it's a bit misty now. So currently 70 meters up. 80 meters. As you can see, we're well in that mist now. And I've lost sight of the drone now, so it's 92 meters. Well, I haven't lost sight, but I can barely see it. So let's come on down. Our descend speed is 1.5 meters a second in silly mode. Now I'm quite expecting there to be a lot of ice on there now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring her down near the camera and you can see what she sounds like. So let's go ahead and get over that landing pad. That's about right, isn't it? And careful my head. Yeah, to me, that sounds different up there. So I'm going to... I'm going to do what I did before and put my microphone near it. And I can see some little droplets of water on it. So I'm going to go ahead and land again and let's see how much ice we've got. Right, so this time, as you can see, there's some... some ice on that edge of the propeller. It's actually on the other edge. I thought it'd be on the actual edge that, which cuts in the sky. But it's some big lumps. But imagine if you're flying for 20 minutes, that's going to be an issue. But the blades haven't been damaged by the ice, which is good. Right, so that's all the ice off. And let's go ahead and take off again. Yeah, look at that big lump. All right, so let's go ahead and take off again. Still got 50% battery. There we go. Let's bring her close to the camera for a bit. That's a good thing with drones without collision avoidance. You can bring them quite close to the camera. And let's go flying again. In fact, let's do a droney. Let's do a droney on me. Uh, I'm just going to move it away from my camera a little bit. Right, so we're going to go back and up. Oh, that wasn't very good because I wasn't prepared with the gimbal. Right, so how long will we get? It's looking really good at the moment. Been recording for 14 minutes and it's saying 11 minutes left, so that'll be 25 minutes, which will be a record, I think. I think we might even um, fly to 0% battery. I know you shouldn't, but... But DJI do state that, actually, by um, fully discharging and charging your battery. I'm getting a little bit of break up on my screen here. I think the sun's coming out over there. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, you can see it's coming on through the clouds. Let's go ahead and fly that way for a bit. I'm not too worried about ice now. Here you go, December the 2nd. Soon be Christmas.
I need to spin my controller around. My compass always goes out on my phone, not the controller. That's better. I'm actually pointing it now. Yeah, that is too misty out there. So sorry if it's been a bit of a boring video, but at least you've seen the ice on the blades. If you enjoyed this video, please consider like and subscribe. It helped me my algorithm out. That's got really misty now. Oh, there's a bird down there. You know, that's my biggest fear of flying the drone, hitting a bird. Hurting the bird and hurting the drone. Right, what have we got? 9 minutes 40, been flying for 16 minutes. So I'm imagining we get roughly 20 minutes out, which is well, the same as in... 30 degree, 20 degree heat. Let's go over these tennis courts again. As you can see, they're still currently building some houses down here. They might have even finished some. Yeah, shame the lighting isn't good, shame it's so misty. Yeah, these seem almost finished, don't they? Currently 50 metres high. Ah, uh, that one's got a roof to go on. It's got the trusses on there. I'm not sure which housing developer these are. Um, yeah, I know it's not Taylor Wimpy. They build most around here, but this is not their bit of land. I wonder what's in those tanks down there. Is it mm, water, maybe? Mm, I have no idea. Right, we better head on back as we're down to 30% battery. Yeah, looks like a few needs roofs on. Oh, that's really misty. Hit a real misty bit here. Let's come on down. Yeah, unbelievably, it's still quite easy to see the drone through this mist. I was not expecting that because the drone is actually grey. So, coming up to 20 minutes recording, still got 25% battery left. And that sun is really coming out now. Shine back into the. Do you know what? I think the uh, camera's missed it up now. Right, where's the sun? Oh, the camera may have ice on it. Because I can't even spot the sun, it's well bright where I am. Let's come and land and check the drone out. Yeah, look at the quality. Must have some ice on the lens. Line her up. That's pretty good though, 20 minutes, 18% left. The sound of the drone right now sounds like it's struggling, so it may have a lot of ice on, ice on it.
and once again the sound of the drone sounds like this which sounds like an angry bee yeah I will continue to fly let's see how long we get out of it oh let me have a look at the camera I need to go around this way, I can't see because of the sun. Uh, oh yeah, there's some um, clouding on the lens, hopefully it's not on the inside. Right, critically low battery. 21 minutes 30, my record is 22 minutes. So uh, let's just carry on. Let's do some low flying. If it does drop out of the sky then. <laughs> Let me go ahead and spin the camera around Battery and fly. Slow. I'll cancel that. Alright, let's come on back. 6% remaining. Oh, that's dropping real fast now. Low battery landing, critically low battery. So let's see if we can get back to the pad in time. Landing. Oh no, she's landing. Aircraft unsuitable for landing. Been calling for 22 minutes, 3% battery left. Let's see what happens. So 15 seconds left. We can still go higher. 2%, 10 seconds left. 1%. Yeah, she's forced landing now. So, 22 minutes 50. I believe that's a record for me. And she's turned off already. Hopefully I'm damaged the battery too much. So you can see on the lens, that is almost ice on there and the drone's quite wet. And again, we've still got ice, a lot of ice on the propellers. So be careful of that. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I need to get home quick to warm this little drone up. Yeah, you can see the moisture on it. So yeah, once again, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And I will see you on the next video. Sun's come out now, as you can see. That's well bright. Yeah, I should have started filming now. Yep, I'll see you on the next one.